everyone. So we're B0X. We're a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer margin lending protocol and an Oracle marketplace. What that means is that people can build on top of our protocol. There's two layers to what we're doing. First is the protocol layer. In the protocol layer, we handle order objects, disbursement of interest. And on the Oracle layer, we handle four things. We monitor margin balances. We uh, value margin balances. We bring liquidity to margin balances. And we somehow activate the liquidate trade method. Uh, so anybody can build their own Oracle. Uh, we're taking our own shot at it. But if anyone can do better, uh, we welcome them to. Uh, so this is a basic outline of the Oracle and the smart contracts that we're working with here. So um, you can see, basically, there's an escrow contract. And people are able to take uh, 0x orders and bring it to our smart contracts and manage positions that are given to them by, wow, that went really quickly. Um, so this is uh, kind of what it's going to look like visually. When you go to our, like, when you try to get a loan, when you try to get an order object to bring to our smart contract, either you'll use our portal dApp that'll help you build it, or you'll go to one of the relays, the relay, like radar relay, that's a picture from them. They'll help you um, bring that order book. So if you're a borrower, what you're going to be doing is you're going to seek these uh, order objects on the relays. And you're going to take them, bring them to our smart contract. They'll uh, have you put some collateral. And then you can use Xerox orders to kind of manage those positions uh, trustlessly, all from your wallet. Uh, the lender, they, from their wallet, are going to be able to lend you their tokens in exchange for interest. And uh, the interest rates can be extremely favorable. Uh, as you can see from like Bitfinex, uh, Kraken, Poloniex, Sometimes uh, rates of 40% APR or more, uh, <clears throat> taking into account uh, compounding interest. Uh, we expect that the interest rates for lenders are going to be lower on ours than on the centralized exchange because centralized exchanges have to give you a risk premium for that custodial risk because lenders on centralized exchanges could lose all their money from a hack, whereas here, they cannot. And not only can you not lose all your money from a hack, but if the other side of the position is uh, <clears throat> going to somehow be liquidated uh, below margin maintenance, we have an insurance fund, a guarantee fund, that will top up the lender to make sure that they can lend their money uh, completely uh, with their mind at ease. So uh, we have a series of bounty hunters that form our oracle. And they monitor the smart contract the off-chain. They value it and all this. And they send a call to the liquidate trade contract method. Uh, when they see something has gone below margin maintenance, we're using Kyber uh, and other on-chain DEXs for liquidity. Uh, we, have, we have two tokens um, in our system. The first is the most important, the protocol token, which coordinates the network. It's a governance token. Relays take it as an incentive to aggregate order books for the sugar token, which is, oh, this is going so quickly. Um, we have the sugar token, which is a tokenization of the fees collected by our Oracle and is given to bounty hunters and other people who use our system in order to decentralize the governance of the Oracle. We have a second part here, which is going to be our decentralized counterpart and clearing houses, which are going to pool risks together and tokenize it, which will give you a steady and safe stream of income from a pool of loans instead of just lending to one person. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use these central counterparty clearinghouses that we've made tokens from, and we're going to try to get them listed on exchanges so that just by holding it, you're getting interest, and this will connect decentralized and centralized exchanges through arbitrage. That way, we have a universal liquidity pool instead of a global liquidity pool. Some people are proud that they can unite the 0x relays together. We are uniting the entire ecosystem's liquidity pool. And at the end, we hope to have something like a HODL wallet where we abstract all of the stuff about tokens away. And you just hold your money regularly, like you normally do. And then you're paid interest. It's like a bank account, both smart contracts instead of bankers. Um, all right, thank you very much.